Hello, what is happening? Oi, oi. Welcome back to another episode of Beats Banter and Beyond. What a fucking day, bye. What a day indeed. Before we get into our day, we forgot to do this for the last few while. I know, uh, obviously, everyone listening, we go live on Sundays on Facebook, YouTube, but don't actually go live on Twitch. I know we did say that a couple of times, just Facebook and YouTube at 7 p.m. And then it's available shortly after on Spotify and Apple Music. And uh, yeah, go and check out our websites, phase2.co.uk and dice.co.uk. It's D1CE. That's how you spell dice. Well done. We could have made that a bit easier for everybody. Um, as well, as always, uh, if you're looking to get any uh, production tips, help, ghost production, anything at all, um, you can pick us on our services through Belfast DJ Studio at belfastdjstudio.com um, and just go in and select uh, ourselves and you can book in for any of the available slots. And also, if you're listening live right now, share this, comment, like, and make sure all your friends know. Yep. So now that we've got all that tedious crap out of the way, What's yeah. been happening? Heartbreak I'm, Hotel. I'm, uh, I know, fucking raging. Arsenal just ruined my week. Wah, wah, wah. I couldn't give a fuck, but it's just funny to see you so defeated. Uh, like, no, you I, went I, from I, being I, like, they're uh, going to win, and they've lost one match. The fucking, they're fucking, they're no, getting relegated. No, my reality said, uh, I, don't even, <laughs> I don't even care anymore. It was fun while it lasted. I've waited 20 years for this. <laughs> it was like having a horse in the race, and then it fell literally at the last uh, hurdle. No, well. Did you have a horse in the Grand National yesterday? I didn't even know it was the Grand National yesterday. Oh, I yeah. completely forgot. I normally do do the about yeah. the Grand National. And I didn't even know. I I didn't even either. Like, I was too busy driving the Armagh. <laughs> that was that was ridiculous. You literally kidnapped your family. That's that's what you did. You lied to them, got them to get in a car, and took them away and against their will. Yeah. The, for your own benefit. Yeah. The Armagh to buy a dart flight. <laughs> Where's London, Darian? You. No, Derry, Derry, London. Derry, London. No, I, I can't. It's against my religion to say it. I was, uh, I was having a good chat about uh, with Niall uh, when I went down to get food earlier about the the shango. Mm. It's like I, I couldn't have come up here a few years ago. Like, get the stop hey. uh, <laughs> yeah. Whenever he was in, remember the last tune we made with Niall up in my old house. That was that's worse, mate. That's where I was. So <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> It was fun when we had to tune me LED the other day. That was basically I, I done. I don't know right? who was that. Our it's got to be eight years ago because I've lived here seven years. Yeah. And I don't... Uh, nah, because Jax wasn't about, was he? No, Jax would have been because sure Jax has been about since we've been about. Ah, uh, he would have been. Jax I would have been about Jax eight, eight or so years ago. Jax I've never even uh, finished that tune. No, fuck. You could hardly finish tunes back then. No. It was just a, a getting the new year fun day experience. Yeah. And then today was a different catalyst. To be fair, like for not producing music in years, LED was quite. He actually had a lot of good ideas. Like, but you see, it's it's like riding a bike. At the end of the day, if you know how to make music, you know how to. If make... you understand what music you like, if you are yeah. I suppose I did. It's like riding a bike, but I haven't stopped making music since I started. Yeah. Have they, like, if, if it's been two weeks away, that's been a fucking long time. Is that that was the one thing I found quite not not funny, but it was mad how because Niall obviously learned to make music back before there was hard style sample packs, back before there was real VSTs that you get in your computer, and like he would have had they've gone in the another. Say he's an old cunt. No, it just he was making tunes that long ago that the the amount of stuff like he would have had they've gone into a separate program to do a reverse reverb for a vocal and then yeah. copy that down and then bring it back in the Ableton. So whenever we showed him, yeah, see if you just duplicate that channel, put a reverb on it, freeze it, and just reverse it. It's like fuck off. Uh-huh. It's just it's mad seeing someone look at it and going, holy fuck! Like because we 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 are changed. moving with it, but he's literally went from. This is what making music is yeah. like. Even showing them sample bag pranks, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I it is it, it, because we have have moved with it. But if you think back to the days we only started, it was fucking the only hard awkward, style like. pack there was when I started was the Plutonium Boy uh, sample pack, and that was it. The only other one I remember too was fucking Vengeance, was it? Vengeance. I but that pack. was that was for trance. I but you could take M nine own end kicks and distort them. I was about yeah. like that's as close you could get to making your own hard style. Yeah, and that's that's where it was. Or you ripped it. Or you ripped it out. That's what now would have done. He would have ripped it out of the uh, tune. Yeah, 
but then they, they caught on to that and started putting like screeches over them all. <laughs> but that's... Do you remember that four-bar loop of the reverse bass that every cunt used? Oh, yeah. Even now, whenever you hear it, you're like, oh, there's that uh, reverse uh... bass from 1987. Fucking madness. But it was fun sitting down with them. The tune we've got uh, is the uh, a a remix. There's a on it on Instagram. Or, uh, Instagram uh, of uh, Pink, it. Get the Party Started. Because we will be getting the fucking party started. Uh, it'll be a good dance floor tune, mate. But it's been fun, fun making a bit of hard style, fun getting into. Uh... It's hard techno. <laughs> no, it's just techno. <laughs> I seen a post the, the other day about that. There, it's like, yeah, everybody's just making really whatever they want, and then just sticking techno on it, and that's why. Techno I seen that too. Uh, techno's blew up. But we're not, we're not going to fucking poke the bear this week. I've calmed down on that one. But uh, you know, but as you said, it, it was very knowledgeable. It was fun because, like. My, I was talking to Nicole about this this morning. My personal journey with Niall has been mental in my life because I didn't know who he was and was dragged up the concept one night when I didn't like Hardstyle to listen to his night and his tunes and whatever. I was like, okay, well, this is actually quite cool. I, I enjoyed that night. And then, obviously, uh, through the days of starting to promote and the stories that you hear, which we'll not get into, and then actually meeting him through you, and being like, oh, well, here, fuck, you're actually quite a sound punter. They're then working with them and doing our back to back sets for I good know, grief actually, and all I that there. Forget. We play back to back with some of the biggest shows we ever played. Like. Yeah. All right. And then just sitting patiently waiting for him to retire so we could take his spot. <laughs> <laughs> and now, now sitting he's fucking back. pimping out uh, not his computer, somebody else's computer. <laughs> it was nice of you to give them that. Like. I know, wasn't it? Just a kind guy like that, man. You know, just have them lying about at my arse these days. <laughs> But no, uh, we were going to have him on the show tonight. I know we said last week that we were going to have uh, a guest that was meant to be Niall, but he uh, had to get home early. He's been, he's been here for LED, 10 o'clock. Uh, he was meant to go. A lot of people may not know him as now. Oh, why? <laughs> yeah, look at you, fucking big lad. I'm on first name, name terms. <laughs> oh, so it's like, like calling Kotsky John. <laughs> I do the whole thing because I'm a nomad. <laughs> but have you seen you say it to some people? They're like, oh, I go ahead. You know, it's John. Like, but yeah, I do know him as John, actually. Thank you. Willem. Oh, I go ahead. <laughs> big wig. <laughs> no, we don't know. We don't know Willem as Willem now. Come on. No, fuck. You get fucked out of green rooms for Willem. Oh, <laughs> Willem not be back. I will, will he not? <laughs> Willem not? <laughs> Willem not be back. Oh, man. What's happening, Gavin? Welcome to the show. Gavin and London Derry in the chat. I, uh, oh man, I was going to kill him this morning. Like, Who? Him. Nah, or LED. Whenever he said about meeting up, I was like, oh yeah, do you reckon nine o'clock would be okay? I'm like, fuck off. <laughs> Fucking nine Mate, o'clock. We're DJs, we work at night. <laughs> There's no like, chance. The earliest I can get to you is 10 to 11. Will you take that? It's like, Sergi's not going to be fucking, he'll not come out at three o'clock now. Uh, he, he'll <laughs> still be in his cover. Like, I just go out. I don't care. I, the doors open, but you have a key anyway. The studio, so it's sweet. I know, but I I was actually surprised whenever you phoned me, and I could hear the computer turning. I was like, oh I shit, know, and he's, then, he's uh, out and working. Uh, no, I, I was up. Yeah, there was. I mean, they, I, they said the hello before you leave for dancing. Make sure I'm up because I didn't want to be getting up now and going out all girl either. Yeah, and I was up late last night. You have seen all those fucking. I watched it. Uh, so. Darry, London Darry. I, I knew you were, you were like, should have said, should have not said. To, uh, <laughs> she's in Dominican Eye, an island I highly recommend. What, Dominican Republic is that? No? no I, would, I have no idea. I, let, let's Dominica. <laughs> I would say it's if, if she was in the Caribbean last ah, week. So it must be China China somewhere. somewhere. Where was it, Dominica? No, I don't know. Right. My brain's not working. It does though. say they're a Caribbean or island. Hi in the Caribbean. Oh, take it. It is literally, that looks can I show that? Fucking awesome. It's literally, look at it in the map. The flag shape, like it looks like a Glen Thorn flag. I know, but look at their scenery. That's fucking awesome. You think with how much time you had the relaxer, you could pick a decent flag, like? Or maybe they're just relaxing so much. Someone's like, do you want to make a flag? It's like, nah, nah fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> just said the slobber about some country's flag. I don't think our country or people from our country are in any position to slobber about flags. Fucking wasn't for us, we wouldn't have countries. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we brought democracy around the world. <laughs> we brought our freedom. <laughs> oh, 
oh fucking hell well that's us cancelled so uh, that's right you're not allowed to you're not allowed to be proud of where you're from you're not sure not <laughs> no not at all especially if you're white uh we've we've had our time of being proud we need to now be persecuted for our sins <laughs> are you assuming my culture <laughs> are you assuming my skin tone <laughs> Okay. Gavin Haven says flags. See, we uh, Gavin knows the score. We know everything about flags over here. Did I ever tell you about the uh, the woman who came into Nicole's work, the Polish mum? Whenever all that whole thing kicked off, it wasn't one of them poles on the bus. No, it wasn't one <laughs> of the poles on the bus. No, this was an actual Polish person. The uh, she came in whenever that whole hoo ha happened with the flag at City Hall and all the rats and all. She came in and said, like, "I have to ask, what is this flag?" <laughs> I a flag, and they didn't understand what she was saying. Like, uh, what? And then the twig down, like, a flag. That's what I was saying. a flag. A flag <laughs> is a flag. And then she couldn't wrap her head around the fact that we'd had three nights of ratting because someone took a flag down. <laughs> <laughs> people, th- people can't believe it was only three nights. <laughs> People over here are like only three nights but they, for a fucking flag. Well, look what happened. Some Polish fella got killed, and there was fucking war for many years. So uh, taking down a flag for Ratten for three nights is not that uh, bad. <laughs> oh, we're fucking. We're we're not being nice to people tonight. I know. Fuck them. <laughs> it's been a weird day. The whole routines. I just think I actually I am done. Like I just feel so tired and drained after sitting there. I enjoyed it, mate. It was good making horse style again. People don't understand that though. Like that's what Nal was yawning and I was yawning. Like it's not it's not physically taxing. No, but it's, it's so mentally, mentally draining. Like and the more that you do and the more the, the longer you progress in it and the more technical. But it especially is. whenever you've only got a certain amount of time where he was here. Yeah. So you're trying to get it done, like so you're focusing on that. So we were all the times me and you would fuck off and have a smoke or do whatever. Like yeah. we weren't really we were all trying to get this tune finished as best as we could before he went but that's that's, that's the, the 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 yeah it's fucking hard i don't give a fuck when anyone says it it's, it's draining and it's hard to make music like it's fun as fuck but it is it does take it out of you like all right well whenever you, when, like if you know you know where the end game you don't really have to push yourself it's a nice lackadaisical but as you say whenever you want to get pretty much the full structure built and mix down the relative level it is, it is taxing because like i i was very conscious whenever i was sitting doing stuff that now wants to learn led wants to learn how to use able and at the same time i would normally explain right this is what i'm doing here's the quick key but there was no time for that today so it was just do 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 and i knew that i can feel him sitting over my shoulder going yeah. what the fuck is he doing because the uh, 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 I didn't even try to explain what I was doing. Either. That's I what I mean. It. You just you just fly away at it, and it's like I'm aware that you're probably sitting turking out behind me, going, "I have a lot to learn," but you already have the. I mean, he's made loads of fucking tunes, and back in the day, he just used Cubius. It's not that big of a jump. That's it. It isn't like no one. Well, it's just learning a new door. Yeah, and that's it. The fact the fact that he's got eight and twelve, and we still upgraded yet. We need the upgrade. Really. <laughs> it was like a. It, it looks class though. Like some of the, some of them features, it's just so much. Easier. It does look really good. Like it, when I need to go back and look at it properly, but there was so much shit in it that was like revolutionary. I I spent twenty minutes on it, and I can see how my job is going to be yeah. easier. Not not whenever I say easier, it's not like oh yeah, it's going to do it all for me. But what the time... fuck's that all about? Putting the volume things but. Back to front. I don't know. That's that's fucking sacrilege. Ableton sorted out the fuck. So, I haven't even used it properly yet. But the, you've flipped the volume meter. It's it's so stupid. But it, well, it, well, it'll it'll right, piss so, me off. Like. So for anybody who doesn't use Ableton on the the channel, the volume no, or the volume selection that we know for it has always been on the right hand side. Always, all versions of Ableton, it's been on the right hand side, and nine and twelve have moved it to the left. Like it's literally one millimeter to the other side, but that's a fucking annoyance because you'll go to click there and you'll be, oh fuck's sake, go to the other side. It's things like that drive me nuts. Yeah, like... but it's such a, it's such a wee small, <laughs> stupid first world problem. Uh, but at the same time, you're like, no, this this could send me round the fucking bend. Like I might quit. No, no, what drove drove me mad about eleven? Remember the grouped all the the, the plugins in the box. Yes. To put them in the groups instead I, of them. You can speak. you can actually switch that. That's, it's uh, not like that anymore on twelve. It's just a big list uh, of them again. 
Yes, like I put no. I seen what the fellow was like on thing. Just somebody who popped up on TikTok or something saying, "Do you know how to get it back to thing?" And he went boom, 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 and it went back. I was like, "Oh, I have to do that." And never did. Well, that's that's been handy for the last six uh, years or whatever we've had it. Never. I was only recently to have seen it, but I because it was all one big group. I sort of knew where like the EQ was, the compressor was off, like straight away. Yeah. So like you always went there, and then the next minute the grouped them all up into fucking these folders, and you're like, "Why the fuck did you just do that?" I, I can sort of get it. Like, I get it now, like the the new state again. The, but I, I just I just put all the plugins in the favorites, so I know where they are. Yeah, the favorites thing. Like the the new search function, I think, will melt your head for a bit. What sorry, the, what I was saying there before I get into that was, it's not that these functions are going to make the tune for you or make it easier, but see having to go in into a certain bit five times because you've got five different audio channels to change the pitch on them, to put them in the key, and do all this here you seem to be able to select it in such a way that you don't even have to go in and click the audio thing. It's just always there. So as soon as you click the yeah. channel, it'll just change the pitch in the whole channel instead of having to go in and highlight them all. So I, so, I, so like say you had say you had a vocal, but the vocal was split up over four different parts of the yeah. tune. You would have the one in the each sample. Well, no, I, I could have highlighted the whole I track guess. and selected them all yeah. as one and then went to do it, but now but it'll still always be there. So it's you're saving fumble. maybe 30, 40 seconds. But there's about 10 things that I've seen that'll save me 30, 40 seconds yeah. every time I'm using it. So there's... But there is, if you, like, see if you have kick drums or something, and there's a load of them. If there's too much audio, it doesn't uh, yeah, do them all in yeah. one go, so that'll be it's time saver as well. It's, uh, but as we, we things for that, again, even after 20 minutes of just pissing about installing folders yeah. and shit, that it was, like, just aesthetics that was sitting there. So once you obviously get tore down and into the depths of it, it'll be class. Um, what was I saying? I don't like a color scheme, though. Color schemes are shit. I, I flick I, through them. They're, I, I like the dark one. There isn't a proper dark one anymore. Is there not? Nah. There's a blue in all, mate. There's always been a blue. It looks stupid. like an icy blue. Ah, it looks like what? What does it? it looks fucking. I, I think Brady of Ellen looks like it's got something wrong with it. Like yep. it's the the plug-in one. It looks as if it's been made in like Microsoft Paint or something. Yeah. But then when you put the dark on, it's like, ah, oh, yeah, that looks like a normal. Like a dog. Like <laughs> Was it Nexus you used to be able to get the skins and all for? Uh, Even that, I always had to have the black Nexus. Yeah. The black Nexus with the wee blue buttons and all on it yep. because that just looked the fucking the best. It is weird the way. But I, I was flicking through them because he was like, I don't like that light. And I was flicking through it and I was like, fuck, these are shit. I, I, but normally there's about 20 of them. Like the, There's three every... different boxes. Right. of thing no but it's not so like it's like theme color and something else so you have to change them all to get what you want Fucking uh, like the, see the way it was it was just I it was perfect it was, it was just was a like, list of like 20 uh, colors uh, and pick that was whatever it. one you want do you remember like the rusty red one it's like what the fuck would you want to have a rusty red button for no but it's, you need to be inspired when you're looking at it. I know. You open it up and it looks like some dusty desert that hasn't been touched for a while. Like, nah, uh, fuck up. I can't be slipper making tunes. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it does. It definitely looks good. Um, I wasn't too fussed on the Ableton 11 when it came out. Obviously, I've grown to it, but the, there wasn't, I'm excited There wasn't for this. loads of changes in the Ableton 11 either, I thought. Any change that I found it's was far, more I, I, can't even rem- I can't even remember 10 anymore. I don't like. No, I don't remember what time I was, was like, looking at. Uh, going, can I remember uh, ten? And that way, see, in six months' time, you'll not even remember eleven. Well, no, I, the only thing I remember about ten is what I said with the the folders. See, when they started doing the parameters and all, when yeah, you, you hovered your mouse close to it and you could drag it down, and then it done the full chunk and all that there. See, because I was never used to that. All those wee changes annoyed the fuck out of me because it was stuff that impacted building and yeah you ha- not that you had to relearn it but you had to relearn your muscle memory for what was there but 12 yeah 12 seems to be the fucking dog danglers like so i'm very much looking forward to getting yeah, torn to that. Like next, next week or something we'll grab it and uh back to back to dice business next week new uh vocals for for yeah. more dice tunes gonna be a big push guys coming on the dice stuff soon um we've now We've got everything sitting in place. With with the whole point of doing dice at the start, we didn't push it because we wanted to see whether you guys would be receptive of the music and whether it was going to be whether well, the juice was worth the squeeze, as I like to put it. And yeah, it, it definitely I seems to be like near a five, near half a million streams without any real push. Or, the only thing we really pushed it on, like I would have shared videos on the story or something, but TikTok as well. But I mean, it wasn't like. I but we're not approaching people saying play this tune. For uh, us. Fucking but but even at that door, we didn't like 
we didn't it, we were just posting clips of the tunes. It wasn't like we were making proper content and fucking about. Like, yeah. Do you know what I mean, once we start doing that, there we're good. Uh, Gavin says, "What inspired you lads to start producing tracks?" Uh, I started DJM first, and then obviously the natural progression was to You're make talk about diabetes. Uh, <laughs> no, but the the natural progression was to then learn how to to make the music because once you start DJing and then you start talking to people, they're like, "Oh, do you produce your own music?" And you're like, "Well, what do you mean?" So then that is a natural progression. But I DJed first and was run the vents and then get into producing music. I've I've always been interested in it, like even from school, but I, I was more interested in hip hop. Like I used to write raps and all that kind of stuff and was interested in like then we free programs more like for making fucking nursery rhymes. Yeah, they were fucking good rhymes though. Um but then I, I caught myself on and was like, No, I, I can't be a white rapper from Belfast because it's just not my thing. Um, Young Spencer. Then, uh, yeah, I sort of, my mates all started getting into dance music and stuff. So I my eyes twitching like, fuck. Um, yeah, Have they all get the dance. No, I think it's just because I'm tired. Uh, once they get into dance music, they all started getting involved in DJing and stuff. And it wasn't something that I was really interested in. But I knew one person, Gary, who was making tunes. Yeah. And that obviously was something more interesting to me. And I just sat and learned how to make we silly beats on Ableton that were terrible, but it was fun. And then I remember still terrible. <laughs> even I know, that's why I've got you. Even whenever I was running nights, because I I was a promoter before I'd done anything and was oh, making three tunes. But I always remember when we were sitting in the center spot, and you know the point of the night when you know there's going to be no one else coming in. I would have whipped the laptop out and went and sat in the back room. Fuck everybody else out there DJing their trans bollocks. I'm not interested in that. And I would have just sat. Look at your eye dice. <laughs> you fucking sell out. It's not man. <laughs> You're fucking right. It's not sell out, man. We're just, uh, we're, we're just doing a business now. Oh, that's uh, it. That's it. Phase two was the the hobby and the fun. Dice is the 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 business side of things now. It is mad how how good it's went. Like it is. It's for something that's so fun, and it's still not. It's still not just quite there. Oh, it's not perfect yet. Like no, we. Again, we went in the blind. We went in the making this. It was like Niall coming and looking at Ableton. It's been so long since we made softer music that everything was different now uh, and the structure of it and all. So it was getting to grips with that and then actually finding the right sounds, figuring out sort of not a formula, but right. I need to know where this comes in. There's no really big, massive, long breakdowns like there isn't hard style or any yeah. sort of like emotion, it's cinematic not really a, drums uh, or any of that shit. It's just kind of like emotional kick and bass, and sense drop, and, uh, and off you go again. And then, yeah, once dancing. you sort of get that, it's now just trying to weld it all together. And again, that's that's what's fun about the dice thing the fact that we've got near half a million plays, not pushing it, and it's not really the final product, mm-hmm. like not the finished product. It's exciting, it is exciting. A few gig requests come in for them as well, so we need to actually go and learn how to actually, fucking start yeah, DJing I mean, this shit. Just, <laughs> well, I know that it, it feels weird, but now nah, I'm looking forward to it. So, mind we need to we need to sit down and uh, actually get tuned, other than ours. What I know, what do you play? <laughs> it all, mate. It's fucking all. We should just play just, tunes. Just from, play hard. We should just play tunes from people from Northern Ireland, and that's it. Uh, you know, yeah, you would make a good set with that. No, but that's that's what I mean. Like uh, we have so many talented artists across the board in all genres in this country. Like if you just play tunes from Northern Irish artists, you're playing a banging set. I bet someone were Irish there. Uh, <laughs> Fuck off, Jason. That's our humour. See, once you leave that door, you can be fucking political. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not being political. I'm just saying there's right. all the people who got. Well, then there's so many people that live. Don't assume on this. someone's identity. There's so many people that live on our little island that are very talented at music. Yes. And if you were to just solely play their but tunes, only on the north of the little island. <laughs> <you should. What> <laughs> Right, I quit. Fuck you. You can do the rest of the show on your own. <laughs> Ball bag. You're as bad as the fan. I don't know where London Terry is. <laughs> Prick. Love it. Any other crack with you then? Me? Yeah. I'm almost gonna be a Dutch World Champion just. With your with your average of fifty. <laughs> no, no, it's keeping me average. You never though. you never finished your story of how you kidnapped your family. 
Uh, <laughs> but do you know what's keeping me average down is the doubles at the you end. Your it's, shit it's, darts. It's, it's taking me three three goals to hit doubles. Like, so that brings it right down. So it'll probably be about 80 if I was, wasn't finishing on doubles. Right. That's all right. Like, all well, right. against the computer anyway. But sure, if I hadn't <laughs> torn my cruciate those two times, I could have been playing in the Premier League. Yes, but... I've only been playing three weeks. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Uh, no, I fucking t- t- took the MSI. We were going. I said, oh, I just want to go down in a wee dart shop here down the road. It was an hour mile, so 55 minutes down, 50 mi- minutes back to get a light. <laughs> and see, once we were like near there, we're all like, what the fuck? What are we doing? Like, they're all started to get raging because you course. had to go back. Like, there's no thought we were going bowling. I was like, we are. I was not done, Donald. <laughs> Hold, right, you left that bit out. So you told them they were going bowling. But we needed to go here first. That's like when you see Americans nah, going, they're going furnace, to Disneyland no, no, to take no, their kids right, to the No, so I told them all, we're getting up early and we're going because I want to go down here and then we'll go bowling and no cunt was ready to one o'clock. So it's not my fault. I, wa- I was up and I was ready to rock at fucking Would 10 you o'clock. be in a hurry to go on a two mile or two hour round trip to go and get a darts light for someone if you weren't in the dark say heather wanted to they go and get a fucking beauty light or something for a makeup table they didn't know how far away it was i know but i'm just saying if heather wanted to go and get a fucking light for her fucking makeup box or whatever and got you all to go for a two-hour round trip on a scale of one to fucking region where would you be i don't know i wouldn't bother me <laughs> <laughs> you know me i like a good drive open the car up down motorway let's go not not to go and buy a fucking light why, why did you have to bring them? Why couldn't you have went and done it and then come back and got them and went and done it? Because they wanted to go. They all wanted to go out. I mentioned that we're going to the dart shop and Heather asked me where is it? I was like, remember How loud did you mention? Was like, remember oh, we went off. to Port of Down? She was like, oh, I was like, it's not far away from her. It, you know what I mean? It's not it's maybe half an hour away from her. Well, yeah, <laughs> if, if you look at it objectively, yes, it's not. It's it's closer to Port of Down then than it, it is to Belfast. Yeah. yeah. Like, it's not that far away from it, but... It's just a wee detour to get to Dundonald Dice Bowl. That's what I was looking at. <laughs> yeah, that, was, that is the most... That, that's like driving to Dublin to get the friggin' Lisburn. You drive past Lisburn to go to Dublin, you fuck that up, Dave, you don't drive. It, no, it, it, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's no, just it ridiculous. Is, it is stupid, but I was going there no matter just what. Just for darts? They all wanted to go. No, no it but it's it your, dart, your, dart, dart, your darts obsession is getting fucking... You know, I feel like you, I need to step know, in here. You know what I'm like, Dave. If I get into something, I get into something. I know, but look how <laughs> look how bad you got with Premier League stickers. Like, that was I'm a problem. Fishing. <laughs> that was a pro- I'm a, fishing's all right. You, you got into, like, you, you became like a smack hit. There you for go, Gavin's right. Don Donald's Val, Armaz, Handy. Free one, mate. A fucking no. fill the car up with red diesel. We're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> Was that not your mate, though? <laughs> my, my, my mate, not his motor. <laughs> no, that's that's just ridiculous behavior. I'd have been fr- fucking raging at you. No, they were only raging if you told me you were, if you told me you were taking me home, but first you had to go and get a dark slide, and then you drove me the arm arm back. <laughs> I would be like, fuck yourself. I am never coming back to your eyes again. <laughs> You just care. Kidnapped. Listen, they got to go and play bowls. They all got nice food. Everyone won. I got kidnapped once. <laughs> like, proper kidnapped. Biddles took me out one night. Um, He came to my house. I knew. I, I, do you know when you just know someone's looking at you to go out and have a wee party with them, but they're not going to hit you with it, and they're just going to try and get you. Oh, just, uh, just come out for five minutes, and then that's you out for the next two days. So I was like, no, I am not. Not, 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 not coming out with you. He's like, oh, come on, come on, we'll just go to Little's for a smoke, sure. I was like, right, okay. I can go to Little's for a smoke. So okay. I was like, right, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to go out and get into his car with no shoes on. Because there's no way that he can take me out partying if I don't have shoes with me. And that was my logic. I thought that Instead was... Instead of just saying, I'm not going with you. <laughs> well, no, because I wanted to go for a smoke. So uh... I was like, right, sweet, I'll go out. I couldn't be a dick. Now, we're talking maybe 19 here. Ah, like, do you know right. what I mean? It wasn't like last week this happened. I last week you're like, nah. But uh, I thought that was pretty sound logic. I'm just not going to wear my shoes and then he can't take me anywhere because I'm not going to be able to go out anywhere with no shoes. So le- <laughs> fast forward an hour later, um, we're both wiped out and I proceed to have an entire evening's wipeout with no shoes, sitting in his car, driving to different points in Northern Ireland to have smokes. And then... At six and the there was a load of other mad shit which I'll not get into involving some creepy weird guy at a duck pond. But 
<laughs> yeah, he fo- he followed us from there to the next spot, and we were like, "What the fuck is going on here?" And then he came up to the window, and we're like, "Fuck off!" What did he do? We told him we were builders because <laughs> <laughs> Biddles had his uh, he used to work on building sites, so he had his hard hat and his like aluminous vest uh, and shit, and his like workman boots and all in the boot. I mean, no, <laughs> we're going to build new year camp. <laughs> no, no, no. What I said to him was, "We're actually we're waiting for the shops to open because we need to go and get bread." The <laughs> the maker sandwiches, right? So off we fucked away from this creepy guy, and but I was like, "Do you want to go and get bread? I'm gonna go and feed the ducks." It's like I can't man have no shoes. I was like, "You're gonna have to go in." I was like, "Yes, I'm not gonna have to do this." He was fucked. He's like, "Mate, my work boots. I've got my boot. work boots in the boot. <laughs> I knew I was coming." <laughs> oh, mate. So there was me in my fucking tracksuit bottom, some jumper, his helmet, these work boots, a high vis vest, completely chinned at half six in the morning, going. Can I have this bread, please? <laughs> You'll never be able to eat that kid. And I was like, mate, you literally kidnapped me. You you took me against my will after I told you 15, 16 times I do not want to go out and you've had me out for two days. I'm I'm now wearing your work uniform. <laughs> <laughs> the good fucking... days of being a kid, eh? Oh, mate. The days of finding yourself. I know. Is that what we call it? To make it seem less bad? Finding yourself? Aye. Growing up. You had seen this thing on... Uh... This is so childish, like, but it's one of the best things I've seen on TikTok and I don't know how long, so I'm going to send you it over and we're going to have a giggle. Right. I'm, Mate, it's like, you know what I mean? I'm dreading this already. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you've shown me on TikTok has never been good. Is it? I, I'm always going to scale it against, is this worse than the fish? No. Okay. That was definitely the most disgusting thing you've ever showed me. It's not even the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. No, I'm, I'm sure it's not. It's not the most disgusting thing I've ever uh, seen, but it's the most disgusting thing you showed me. Uh, right. This is fucking good. I bet you it's not. I bet you it's shit. It's so childish and fun. <laughs> Already I'm worried. Have you shared the thing? Whoever moves first is gay. What did he say he ever moves? First is gay. <laughs> Wait, go on this page. Please go on this page. And watch this? This. I don't know. I go. This guy? Oh, mate, it's so childish, but mate, it makes me giggle like fuck. Does he just do this <laughs> to everybody? <laughs> go, go, go. Just click on. Bro, English or Spanish? English. Whoever moves first is gay. <laughs> <laughs> I love the fact they've also got Dick Sports Shop oh. behind them. This makes me laugh more than it's something you would do in fucking primary school. Oh, that's up there. We're here. Smell your breath. We find another one, mate. Like he's got his hand down his trunks and he's still not moving. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Some of them do move. Like, I don't know what's going on. This is what we should do. Like, I should it's just so run funny, about and you should videotape me just doing this. The people walking down through this. Here, here, mate. And just see who fucking we'll see the out. reactions of people, but it's so hilarious. English or Spanish? English. Whoever moves first is gay. <laughs> Whoever moves first is gay. What's the real age? Gay. gay. <laughs> <laughs> this guy here on the left, he fucking turned into a statue. <laughs> I mean, even he wants to see all the way out, man, and all. How did they end? He does it, there's all different ones. <laughs> wow, you're recording, aren't you? It's so fucking childish, like, but it's, it's just my humor. Oh, no, but I, I love a bit of childish humor. Like, you can't, you cannot beat that. Like, childish humor is the fucking. The dog, oh, Alex. Me, me and her were fucking near pissing ourselves laughing in bed the other night when I found it for the first time. Because there's ones like we're up here walking in the sea and they go, and they go like that. I just completely stop. <laughs> I uh, we should we should do that for a laugh, man. Just go about and fucking don't even videotape it. Just do it for our own self amusement. For a laugh, and if man. anybody says anything, like just look for. Oh, I know we're videotaping you over there. So some cunt send the message. I. Uh... I seen I seen some class the other day, man. Well, I don't know if it's class, but I said I'll the, be the judge of that. Uh, I said the earlier. Have you heard about the new Abbott concert, right? So do you remember whenever they brought Tupac back in a hologram form uh, for yes, like yes, that yes. one wee tiny portion? And who else did they do it with? The gorillas, 
the gorillas they've done only some performance the but they've done uh, they've done the well obviously gorillas aren't a real aren't real people because they're animation yeah but they've done them as a hologram with some mtv award things are you sitting here watching tiktok while i'm talking to you no i was looking for another video you're a fucking yeah. dick <laughs> abba have now it appears that they've taken this to the next level and rather than just one song abba are doing a, a hologram tour right my abba are all still we alive we talked about this last week though about do, do, they even need, do we yeah. even need to be there so this I, I haven't really looked into it because I wanted to see, I wanted to, the, to have my first chat with it. Yeah. About, I wanted my first time to be with you. <laughs> but uh, we'll have a look at the trailer. From what I've read, though, it seems to be, ah, uh, fuck you, you're not getting us with your upper chip bastard. Um, it seems to be that I thought it was just a concert, but it says it's a hologram. What's your tickets? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Their holograms look pretty, pretty fucking. They they look like they're real people. Like they There's holograms as well, is it? No. No, that's them from the seventies. I suppose uh-huh. they're quite young there. Suppose that, in this that looks like fucking computer game graphics for holograms. Like that's. If you can do holograms that good and they're real, you mix that with AI and we're all fucked. What's real, what's not anymore? I'd be bucking a young Peggy Mitchell. <laughs> Flip that over. Who's that? Is that the blonde one? Uh, Barbara Windsor. I think. <laughs> that, she's not an ABBA. I didn't say she was. <laughs> 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 we're right here can on, I, can no, I get one of those carry on maybe sit you down right and they strap you in there, okay right what is it you really want to do I want to go to Albert Square in the 1970s I want to I want to bend over Peggy Mitchell over the is Queen this, Vic is this what you're going to do whenever you get these fucking apple glasses for the yeah, first time I'm going to do the weirdest shit ever <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like what this Heather's going to come in and catch you and be like I don't even care <laughs> this is the future love get used to it was she be watching the same me I to make sure that you're not fucking going nuts. Right, let's see what this is. If that, if they were a concert like no other, blending cutting edge technology, spectacular lighting, and some of the most beloved songs ever written, ABBA take to the stage in a whole new way in a stunning purpose built arena. One of the most popular groups in history appears digital avatars. In a groundbreaking metro concert that really needs to be seen to be believed. That still doesn't answer my question. Like it tells you that they take to the stage, but then it also saying that they're going to be fucking holograms. Uh, About the con- now, I kind of get if it's in a purpose-built venue for it and it's got all those lights and shit. Maybe it's like the way Eric Prids does the the hollow uh, stage, yes, yes, yes. and it'll have images of Abba flashing through or something. But like. I know, but like, who, like, if they're frequently doing... asked questions, oh, that's about tickets. Fuck, I have a refund. <laughs> <laughs> Abba weren't there. Abba weren't there. It was a fucking computer screen, you bitch. Oh, I swear, Deirdre, I went down to watch Abba. I was all loving it. I'm seeing them in 60 whole years. And the next minute, it was a fucking computer. <laughs> as I went straight to the security guard and I was like, Excuse me, is Abba not on? Did like, someone no hack love. him? <laughs> like, no love. Uh, sorry, it's just the computer. And I was like, Fuck that shit. I want my money back. <laughs> Vera's fucking raging. I, I'm still no further. Hero band? What the fuck's a hero band? Our 10 piece live band play throughout the concert. Is any of their names ABBA names? Right, no, right. So, our 10 piece live band will play live throughout the concert alongside digital avatars to make the experience like no other. So, yeah. is it these guys are on the stage then and they're playing all the instruments? But and then ABBA's... The avatar, it's ABBA's songs just over like uh, avatars then. So, it's just the recordings then. But look how fucking. They... That can't be fucking holograms. That is too good to be a hologram. That. Like, hold on, just just for fucking context. Let's look at the. I two- don't remember this being good. Like, but that's what I mean. Like, you look at the two pack hologram. So there's there's it there. 
give us a big picture of it for fuck's sake. Right, so there's a big picture of that, right? You could tell that definitely computer generated, and there's what they're saying is ABBA fake. Like, that's cool. Look, there's a fucking big, doesn't matter. There. Like, I'll still never go and watch it. Like, but I like it, Billy ABBA. I but we couldn't tell. I was my my dad always left the album in the high school. Like it's been it was I was growing up with them. What's your favorite album song? Oh fuck, I couldn't tell you. Dancing Queen. <laughs> you are my <my> dancing queen. <laughs> Give me a man after midnight. Uh, <laughs> um I don't know. Uh I, I like a good lot of album songs. Like I remember when we were in Benador and we went and seen a, an ABBA tribute. Yeah. Um and that was on my birthday. It was Abba tribute, a Bob Marley tribute, and some other tribute, and them two women. Now it was two women doing an Abba tribute, right? No men, just two women, and they were loving. It was like two women had got away from a head night and had a load of costumes with them, and literally their costume change was they done a wee leg kick and spun round whilst they were changing into a different sequence top, and then turned round and started going, "Give me, give," and you're like, "All oh, right, so we're into the next tune." It was it was so bad, but they were fucking. They just loved it. They were two women who'd had a few wines, and they just were like, "Yeah, let's abba it up here, motherfuckers." <laughs> I mean, I remember as a kid, it wasn't a tribute thing, like, but I went. I used to love the wrestling and all, right? And I went and watched the wrestling in the Ulster Hall. My dad's work or something got him tickets, and we went. I mean, it was like a couple of alkies. <laughs> Off the top ropes. Oh, was it not not like the proper wrestling? No, like this was like I mean, amateur was like, wrestling. I mean, it was like it was so fucking bad, me, but it was so good because it was so funny. Yeah, you know what I mean. It was fucking brilliant. But I remember going there telling everyone, "Oh, I'm going there wrestling. I don't think they're going to see Stone Cold Steve Austin and all." <laughs> it was too <laughs> hot from the shank. <laughs> <shangle. laughs> top rate Stevie D. Uh, <laughs> top rate DLA against fucking Devis Hoods. Did you ever watch the wrestling as a kid? Yeah. Like the, the attitude era of Raw and yeah, all that there. Like Axe Park and fucking uh, Rude Dog Jesse James. We should do it. we should do an episode on uh, wrestlers theme music. I'll have a fucking quiz to see if you can remember any of them. I love fucking do you know what I used to do? Now this is this is how old fucking I am. You couldn't get the theme music on the internet because I was like nine and didn't really understand yeah. how the internet works. <laughs> Very good Gavin Avatars. <laughs> <laughs> Well love done. it. <laughs> That's a ten out of ten. I <laughs> fucking loved it. Shout out to Gavin in the chat. That's oh. what they should have called it. They Ab- got they missed the fucking copyright that the fuck. Avatars. Uh, what was I even saying there? I forgot now. That was great. Wrestling. I I uh, I used to always walk because me and my friends would have fucking you know when you were kids you went and wrestled and put the fucking cushions down and just beat the fuck out of each other. It's like we we thought we were wrestling, but you were really just seeing how far it was before your friends armor break. Ah uh, yes. The uh, I used to get my dad's dictaphone so he used to have this for recording meetings. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Swear to God, man! I thought you were going to say. <laughs> Oh no, no, Jason! I didn't record wrestling music on my dad's dick. Holy shit! <laughs> if I got a late head there, I thought you says I used to get my dad's dick. Oh, me and my wee young friend are wrestling, and my dad comes in and say, like, "Do you want my wrestling music?" <laughs> Who's getting a dick? <laughs> Loser sits on it first. <laughs> my dad's theme music just drops like some fucking Undertaker or something, and oh. everyone freezes. Jesus fucking Christ! Oh, I oh, I'm. Mate, so- I sh- <laughs> mate, that's such a clip. I used to get my dad's dick. <laughs> I just cut it right there. Oh, um, I used to get my dad's dictaphone, <laughs> and we'd record it from the TV. So then, whenever ah, we yes, were playing yeah, wrestling, yeah, yeah. but you had to like rewind. I was like, "Oh, where where was that one?" Like you're trying to rewind and fast forward it to get the theme music. Oh, man. oh fuck, that was so funny. I watched. Uh, I, I've been watching a lot of documentaries about the wrestling. I, I there's no doubt in there. Yeah, I haven't really. But... The uh, there's there's one dark side of the rings class because that talks about really bad shit that I happened. Like, that they, they, they just inside to... your arse. <laughs> dark side of the ring. <laughs> so it happens after I get my death stick. <laughs> the. Uh, but that, that goes in the stuff that like's been swept under the carpet and I don't want to talk about kind of thing. Yeah. Um there's ones that do like rivals, so it looks at like rivalries from the past, and it's mostly the attitude era and like how they came up with the ideas for the gimmicks or 
how like Stone Cold came up with his three sixteen thing and stuff like that. Do you ever remember when you were younger you used to like dream of getting like a wrestling ring and like a hardening and all? Oh, one hundred percent. I seen a, fucking, a wrestling I ring or a looking, skate I, ramp. I, I thought I saved it. I seen an old video on TikTok where we love was like Irish Weller look at it and it, it no like he sc- sc- scanned his window. Right. And I was like in the countryside and there was a fucking full size wrestling ring in his garden and someone I, I went. Tell her, is that a fucking wrestling ring? I showed her because he was not the video was nothing about the ring, and she went, Oh, why? And I went in there comment, so imagine on the boxing ring you're going, and goes, It's a wrestling ring, dickhead. <laughs> Mate, it was a fucking full proper wrestling ring. Maybe they just really were in there. That is my fucking childhood dream. If you had the money now, would you have it just why? If you'd fuck you money, you would go. Oh, I mean, uh, fuck, I'd have a racetrack and bring it back. A racetrack round the, the wrestling ring. <laughs> there already is one out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, oh, the I racetrack round that. I the wrestling ring in the middle. But, mate, it, it, you wouldn't even get in it. You would just, just for the sake of having it. No. But, mate, now, don't get me wrong. It was, I mean, the fucking garden was fucking racked. You could see half of it was stuck into the mud. Aye. It was slanty. Aye. But it was there. And I was like, holy. You wouldn't care. Holy fuck. I, I just, remember we broke in. We used to get chairs and tie rope round, you no, know, like the. Chairs you would have had in your garden, like them chairs out there. Sit on. We got them, put the four corners, and tied rope around them. I'm sure right as soon as you hit it, and all the chairs uh, come the together. The only thing is, you could jump off the chairs and do like uh, yeah, yeah. But my back garden, when I was a kid, was like out there, so it wasn't very practical. Like. See, we whenever my little period where I lived in Lurgan, I was uh, your first period. I, I knew you were. I was. I knew as soon as the <laughs> words came out of my mouth, he's like, he's going to make a joke about that. <laughs> um, there was some wee boxing club. We didn't break into it, but we broke into it. Like the door was open. And the guy who looked I after it wasn't Henry, there. But we'll just walk in. And we didn't cause any damage. We just wanted to go in and fuck about in the ring for a bit and see. See, after five minutes, we realized this was not a good idea because no one, everyone was up for, ah, oh, yes, let me slam you. And then we'll do this. And I was like, well, no, fuck off. Let me slam you first. That kid. <laughs> and then it just became an all out. I will know if I run over here and do this, you let me hit you a clothesline. Nah. You let me hit you a dig first, and then you can come and do this. Like, no, I'm not getting hit first. And then we just give up and left. <laughs> I was like, no one could agree to any sort of storyline. That was that. I know, I'd say you have to get the storyline and stick to it. Yeah. But every, whenever I say when we used to do it, it was just we used to just be at the fuck. That, yeah, that, that's what it was. For, uh, it was like, if you just be at the fuck ready short until someone couldn't take it or went and told her man. Yeah. Oh, do you remember that? There was always one that went <laughs> and told her oh, man. I'm telling on you, and you're like, oh, or, or they just get up and run out, ah! and run out of the garden. You're like, did fuck. you ever, did you ever hit someone by accident? But it was a proper fucking smack, and you knew instantly, shit, this has went too far. And you're like, oh, I'm so sorry, uh, you, you hit me back. Yeah, do it, do yeah, it to me, do it to me twice now. I go, to go, brother and sister all day. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I, I, I think I said this on the show before. But when we were in school, there was a wee lad, and I threw five p at him. Mate, the caught him right there under the eyelid. Fuck, and, I don't think you have and the blood was like it just opened up like a fucking tin of sardines, mate. Just boom. And the teacher came in two seconds after and he never said, he said I don't know what happened. The fucking scratching my eye. He, Matthew Lamy called him fucking bit his tongue. And I said, like, mate, fucking thank you. Because I, I wasn't, I was suspended that long before after fighting. So I would have been, oh, um, I right? in big trouble. But he didn't know this. Like he, he just, out of the goodness of his heart, just didn't say, mate. But I, like, I was standing going, Fucked here, and I looked up, and he just—he just didn't. He, oh, I don't like I was fucking. You, you know, like it's not. Uh, you don't. You don't squeal. I had a squeal, me to see hard. I had him at five p. Would you <laughs> be fucking tight? Nah, no, I, I thought you were raised better uh, than that uh, in these fucking mean streets uh, over here. Tights get shot. Do them? Is, is it not there. snitches get stitches these days? I heard no stitches. No stitches involved, mate. No the fucking whole families put out. I remember I got told that, and they're like, no, it's actually snitches get stitches. I was like, no, it's actually shut the fuck up, child, and get away uh, from me. It is fucking tights get shot. I was about to say snitches get stitches. <laughs> I, I may be what to say on that say. Tights out, you know what, Louise? It is tights out. Fuck, do you remember that? <laughs> tights out. Now we, we were driving down the road, and I goes. I fuck the love and I'll mural up here, don't they? That's what I said. They was like, I over in the east and all the kind of got rid of the murals and painted. Was like, oh, here's a guy that made a clock one time, or here, here's what we could do. No, we should do. We should fund a mural on the shankle of the guy that made Viagra. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Be the change you want to see. Yeah, your life may be hard, but we can get you hard. <laughs> You think you've got it? Uh, also, you've just no, on the on the bottle. You've got David Goggins going get hard. <laughs> Who's gonna carry the boats? You can't carry them boats, you soft motherfucker. 
I uh, no, I don't think that. I I would think you'd be getting a knock on the door, that door right there, if we started painting a Viagra mural. Then I just said, him, listen, lads, any more of it, and you'll be getting the knock at the back door. There was a mural I seen. We were going up to Hillsborough on the bus, and I. I don't know the full context of this, so in case anybody gives off to me for getting this wrong, don't, I'm don't I'm making jump. a massive assumption based on a 40 second view of a mural that I've seen, right? right. So it's a picture of this owl boy. And it's, it's huge. How like, do you assume his age? Because he's wrinkly as fuck, mate. You can tell that he's old. And this I age. didn't know the artist just wasn't that good at drawing. No, because he was. Everything else was class. That's one thing, but they're pretty good at drawing, yeah. aren't they? <laughs> the, uh, so there, there was this owl boy big big thing and all around the outside of it is all job titles so like steel worker bookmaker welder boot maker or boot fixer fucking stable worker all these different jobs right and the murals obviously meant the show oh look at this guy he done so much shit in his life and i looked at it going no i look at that and go you were shit at every job you did <laughs> every job like you have so like if you see that in the cv you'd be like nah you're shit man you, you, you're a job hopper. This guy has like uh, 20 <laughs> jobs around his name and he's got a fucking uh, photo off. Jack of all trades, masters and none. Mate, I was... Mate, do you imagine being, going to Ulster University or Queen's University, whatever it is, back in the fucking 80s and you're studying an art degree? What happens? You just walk out and go, we want you, we want you. Paramilitaries, I say, we need an artist. <laughs> Where'd you grow up? Right, aye, you're, you're aye, painting for that side. Aye, you're doing your A-level exams and you have to draw UFF murals. <laughs> I wonder, would you be able to submit that in your final, like, uh, A-levels or something? What do you want to be when you leave? I want to draw murals for a paramilitary. <laughs> Everybody's got, well. like, this big A3 painting. They're like, uh, <laughs> sorry, mine's on the side of this fucking house. I, they thought you hadn't been going to class for two months. <laughs> Where's fucking Stevie? I don't know. He hasn't been coming in then your final exam day. The paramilitary just... Sistine <laughs> Chapel. <laughs> You're just sitting there with a brush and all uh, your mouth going, oh, this is my masterpiece. I won't say it if it's... Uh, British one side of its Aries, just in case, just in case both sides want to employ me. Yep. Oh fuck. I, I, I know that's a point. Like you, you would wonder how. I suppose not, if you, if you grew, see if you wanted to be an artist and you grew up in Northern Ireland at yeah. that stage, you'd be like, well, at least I can get a job somewhere. Like. I know, but like whenever you think of paramilitaries and all the different roles within a paramilitary organization, you'd never jump the paint and decorator. <laughs> It's like all the other shit you could do. It's like we need someone to do. You get swore in, then they go right. You go to the art department. (laughs) It's like someone had to tag their brother along for the day. It's like, oh fuck's sake, give him here away. You and play with the crayons down there, son. You just keep yourself occupied for a while. The big boys are talking up here, and then he's just growing up to be their wee fucking mural maker. Don't tell wee fucking Sammy down there what's going on. He he doesn't know nothing. He just paints the pictures and fucks off. I hear no hear. I never thought about this. <laughs> Here, excuse me, sir. Uh, we've got eyes on one of the paramilitary men. Uh, he's standing at the end of the street there. Uh, he's about five foot eight. He's got dark hair. He's got a beard. Ah, uh, don't worry about him. He just draws the paintings. Look what happens. The cops come down and say, "Oh, we've got one of them, sir. He's holding a weapon. What has he got? A paintbrush." <laughs> oh, Red team, go. Red I wonder team. how much he get paid to do them. The murals? Should I ask? I sure was... someone. I'm sure someone pretty close to this right now knows it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure it's only a text or two away to be fair. Uh, but like, what? what <laughs> just you... out of curiosity, I'm looking. Is it, here, mate, just <laughs> wondering. How much did you get paid to do that? How much do you receive for donating your house? <laughs> 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 Is... here, do, do they do like a postcode lottery? <laughs> I want one of my house. <laughs> Everybody just submits. They're like, fucking right. I'm going to get 500 quid for getting my house painted. Oh, Here, uh, Charlie, see when you're done painting that, you can come and do my living room, right, you? Once a month, they do a wee lotto. All oh, right, we're doing it at the end of this street this week. <laughs> I've never thought about who actually goes and does the murals, like, but that's that's fucking... Yeah, that's a full-time job. Many fucking murals are this thing. See, if there's only two or three of them, like, if you think of Belfast... And see Let's how, say you get a grand up now. I bet you ain't paid. See how hard, hard it is to fucking say, be painting in the rain, mate. Our uh, be fucked. We've got your old missus and kids in lockdown. <laughs> you don't see them till the mural's finished. It's been raining for five weeks. I don't fucking care. Uh-huh. I don't control the weather. By the way, they're not getting fed, so get on with it. <laughs> Do you want to speak their wife and just play? It's like the fucking xylophone on a rib. <laughs> crink, crink, crink. Oh, this took a dramatic please, turn. Please, daddy, fucking paint it quick. 
<laughs> it says if they don't, they're going to rob another bank. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah, if anybody knows any mural painters, fucking. Oh, I love should, the interview one. We should try and get a mural painter on the podcast. That would be fucking. <laughs> <laughs> it's got to be a dying art now because they're using all these steel things. So they're is that, is that a pun? A dying art? <laughs> <laughs> it's not just the uh, shit that uh, was But no, it like see now all the ones in the Weeville and all. Mm -hmm. They're all like steel. So like they're they're printed laminated on the steel. It so must it's be because all the aerosols are bad for the greenhouse. See, Shankle's fuck fucking I, carbon I, footprint and all I, that there. Can't be fucking right, getting their murals made. There's fucking high, ozone can't. layer. We need to worry about the ozone layer. I have a good idea. Why don't we use steel? Melt steel that needs to be fucking burnt Again, and heated up to 100 degrees. The I bend. don't think anybody sits in any lodge or house or any sort of organizational bearing and go, guys, do you think we need to fucking reduce our carbon emission here? Remember, he used to paint the curbstones too. I never understood that. Like, What was the purpose of that? Just to mark your area? It's like a dog taking a piss up a wall. Right, that's, that's what I mean. Is it just to like, let you know you are... You're not here. I'd say I'll tell you what though, Steve driving down the shank once coming up to the twelfth mate. It is quite beautiful. Like it's just fucking lanes of streamers and fucking flags, mate. Right, but it's very it's very you don't get fucking, that in fucking London. It's very <laughs> primary colours. <laughs> it is it is cool, like fair play. It's really not. That's cause you're a mudblood, mate. I know I, it's just a fucking inconvenience and a hassle. It's like, oh, look, all the buttons going up. That means life's going to be a melt for the next month. Fucking you. It's been all right the last few years, though. It's probably since COVID, I'm not. I'm not bar me and you, memory you caught behind the right. grave. That, that, that was a great day. That's a core <laughs> memory for me. I'll not even embarrass you because we're live. We can't edit this out. Right? But uh, the, we both know what was said in that car. Uh, <laughs> and I, I loved it. I, I was shocked at my core when you said it. <laughs> I, I, everyone thinks I'm a full fucking hun fucking well no the fact that you've been in the bands and you've walked with the bands and fucking all sorts of that and then just yeah. in, a, in a past life your little your little mask slipped for a second yeah we had to be somewhere we had a very important meeting we did that's right I forgot about that and then we thought it was cancelled and then it didn't get cancelled and we're like oh fuck let's go yeah that helps quite a lot caught behind the flute bomb <laughs> fuck right well on that fucking jelly bomb show Will we uh, hit the old dusty trail, will we? Aye. Fucking get some kip and get ready for another week. I know. Fucking been a good, good old day. It has. And it'll <clears> be a, another good week, which we'll fucking tell you about next week. But no, uh, it's, all, well, it's all secret. <laughs> well, some of it will be. You never, <laughs> you never know. Right, everyone. Thanks for listening. Catch us again next week. See you. If we don't see you through a week, I'll see you through a window. What? That doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Ask, ask your man. I smell your breath. <laughs> <laughs> Letters. <laughs>